Hey there guys, uh, this video is over biomolecules. This is a new concept to you, you've never seen it before, so make sure you take very good notes and we will talk about them in class. So the first thing that we need to do is some vocabulary housekeeping. Okay, these are um, a couple of words you learned in junior high and a new one that you haven't learned yet. Okay, the first one is going to be an atom. Okay, you know that an atom is the smallest unit of matter. Okay, so it's the very smallest thing. So carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus are the atoms that make up most biomolecules. Okay, a molecule is a group of atoms that are bonded together. And a polymer are molecules in many repeating units. Okay, this is the only new word here that you don't know. Okay, poly means many. Okay, so these are just a polymer is just many molecules, okay, that repeat themselves. So what is a biomolecule? Okay, a biomolecule are molecules that are needed for life. Life would not exist if these weren't there, okay? They are, there are four of them, they are nucleic acids, which are DNA and RNA, proteins, okay, like protein like eat. Okay, lipids, which are fats, and carbohydrates, which are, which are sugars. Okay, and we're going to look at each one of these individually. When we're looking at these, we're going to talk about their structure or what they're made of, and we're going to look at their function. So what do they do? What purpose do they have in the whole role of life? The first one that we're going to look at are carbohydrates, which are sugars. Okay, their structures are polymers. So remember, we said that a polymer is a repeating unit. Okay, carbohydrates are made of the polymer saccharide. Okay, that's a big scary word. Okay, but it just means sugar. Okay, saccharide is a sugar. Okay, functions, they are used by all cells for energy and they're used by for plant cells for structure. Okay, so these carbohydrates help the plant cells keep their structure. Okay, the energy is stored in the bonds between the carbon, the hydrogen, and the oxygen. Okay, so remember last year in eighth grade, we talked about that when the bonds break, energy is released. Okay, that's where that energy is stored, is in those bonds. All right, so there are three types of carbohydrates. Okay, the first one is a monosaccharide, which is one ring of sugar. Okay, mono means one. Okay, so if you look at this right here, Okay, that is a monosaccharide. You see how it makes only one ring? Okay, this is a model of the molecule glucose. Okay, it makes one ring. Um, fructose would look similar to this. Okay, the next one is a disaccharide, okay, which are two rings of sugar. So you have sucrose, which is table sugar, is a glucose plus a fructose. Maltose, which is beer sugar, okay, is two glucose put together. Okay, so when we look at them and we have two rings, okay, see how you have a ring of glucose and a ring of fructose? Okay, that's a disaccharide because there's two rings. Okay, the last type of carbohydrate is a polysaccharide. Okay, remember we talked about polymers or multiple molecules? Okay, a polysaccharide are many rings of sugars. So poly means many. Okay, starch as an example, are many glucoses which are bonded together to store energy in plants. Okay, glycogen are many glucoses bonded together to store energy in animals. Cellulose are many glucoses bonded together to give plant their structure. Okay, so although they are all glucose molecules bonded together, the way in which they are bonded is different in each one and it gives them different functions. Okay, so while they are all glucose, they're all those little rings that we saw in the last one that you wrote down in your notes, okay, um, they're bonded differently, which makes them do different things. Okay, so on this slide, okay, you're going to want to pause this one for a minute so that you can kind of look at um, how each of them are bonded together. So if you look at starch, they're all bonded there in a line. They all look identical to one another. Okay, you should be drawing this picture in your notes. Okay, but if you look at cellulose, every other one appears to be quote unquote upside down. Okay, so they're bonded differently. Okay, you wanna draw that in your notes. 
Okay, glycogen. So if you look at them, they're all cellulose, or they're all um, glucose again. But do you see how some of them kind of take off and go down to the side? It makes a Y at the end. Again, bonded differently. Draw this one in your notes so that you can see what we mean when we say they are bonded differently. You only have to draw on one, two, or three. You know, no more than three of the little um, figures will give you a good picture. All right, so here's some picture of carbohydrates. You get your carbohydrates from grain, okay? Um, anything that's starchy. Um, so you see an acorn squash. There's some bread, some noodles, bananas, apples, all these things, potatoes, corn, carrots, all these things carry carbohydrates in them. All right, the next biomolecule we're going to talk about are called lipids. Okay, the structure of lipids, so you have glycerol and fatty acid molecules are bonded together. Okay, a fatty acid is lots of carbon bonded to hydrogen. Okay, they're a large molecule, not a polymer. Okay, so if you look down here at the bottom, you see you've got your glycerin here. Okay, you have many fatty acid molecules which are bonded to hydrogen, okay, to make this glycerin. All right, so the functions of lipids, okay? We use lipids for energy storage, okay? They hold in energy for us. Um, they cushion our organs, okay? So some lipids are good. Not a whole lot of lipids, okay? You don't want too much cushion there, um, but some is good. Um, insulation, they keep us warm. That fatty layer, okay, keeps us warm when it's cold outside. Um, they're also part of the plasma membrane, which is a phospholipid. Okay, and our plasma membrane, remember, it's going to let things in and out of our cells and, and things like that. All right, so this plate of yummy goodness, okay, are full of lipids. They're full of fats, donuts, fried food, fried chicken, french fries. Okay, all of those things are full of fat. And while they taste great, not always the best for us, but we always need some. All righty, so that's two down, two more to go. Our next one are nucleic acids, okay? So this is DNA and RNA. The structure of nucleic acid is a repeating unit called a nucleotide, okay? And a nucleotide is a um, phosphate group, a ribose sugar, and a nitrogen base, okay? And we'll talk about this a lot in class. All right, the function of nucleic acids, okay? These molecules are the instructions to the cell on making proteins. It's also called genetic code, okay? So your nucleic acids are part of your DNA. We've talked about DNA before, so this isn't anything new to you, okay? But these are just some new words that describe DNA for you, okay? So here's a picture of a nucleotide. You want to draw this in your notes, okay? You have your phosphate here, okay? You have your sugar here, and you have your nitrogen base, okay? So you, all the three of these things must be present for you to have a nucleotide. Make sure you draw this. All right, our last biomolecule are proteins. Okay, the structure of a protein, again, is a polymer, but this is a repeating unit we call an amino acid. Proteins are also called polypeptides. Okay, remember that poly means many. And there are 20 different amino acids. Okay, many different proteins can be made by making different sequences of these amino acids. So depending on the way the amino acids are ordered depends on the type of protein that you have. So proteins function. Okay, what do we need protein for? It is the structure of organisms. Okay, it transports materials around our bodies, our cells. Um, it signals other cells. It helps us with movement. It's our defense against invaders, and we need it for enzymes. All right, so here is some very raw protein, okay, but it is protein. You guys have heard this before when we talk about it um, being in the food pyramid and things like that, okay? Chicken, meat, some beans, okay? All of these things contain protein. They're very important to our health, and we have to have them. Otherwise, other th those things won't happen. Alright guys, so this is the end of your video.
okay? Before you come to class, you have got to go back and circle your keywords and underline your main ideas, and we'll write your questions to your C-notes for your warm-up tomorrow. If you have any questions, write them down, and we'll answer them in class. See you later.